Hey guys, today we're just going to go over a uh, quick replacement on the uh, starter motor oil seal here. Um, you can see that mine is leaking down here. Sorry for the poor, uh, poor quality of the light and the video here. I was just doing it with the time I had. Uh, you can see the oil is leaking pretty bad down the bottom underneath this bash plate here. So start by taking your bash plate off. It should just be the one screw. Uh, you can see that's uh, gotten pretty bad, that oil leak take off the um, positive wire to the starter motor these two nuts here as well they'll come out and then once you've got those off this should just pull out and you can see there I've replaced this um, seal before obviously I didn't use the right size it stayed um, oil tight for a while um, but obviously it's just a bit too small and it's squashed down and it's let that oil seek past again you can see here I've got a slightly bigger uh, o-ring this time, slightly thicker. Um, so I'm just going to put this one on. It's not the genuine o-ring, it's just from a uh, random pack of o-rings um, that I had in the shed. So, you know, 50 cents versus 10 bucks or whatever it is that Yamaha is going to charge you. That fits much nicer in there. Um, 19 millimeters internal diameter or three quarters of an inch. Uh, and then the thickness of that is pretty much three millimeters or whatever that is in inches. Uh, just give this a quick clean up, try and get some of that oil off and down underneath the bottom here so that we can tell if there's future oil leaks. Um, put some silicon spray on this so that it slides in a little bit better uh, when we're trying to fit that slightly bigger o-ring on there. Just push straight back in. Um, it was a snug fit this one. And then the two bolts back on the side and then everything bolts back up. Uh, sorry, I ran out of film, but that's all done.